we have a wasp nest this year and it's in a difficult area to ever get at. In fact, you'd probably have to take the house down before you could get at the wasp nest. They've built their nest kind of in between where the the roof meets the siding, so we don't know whether it's up in the roof or whether it's in the siding, but that's besides the point. The nest itself is up high enough, it's above the window, which is beside my desk here, and the um, the wasps are out of the way, so when you walk back, back and forth underneath them, they don't bother you and we don't bother them and it's away enough from the door that they don't necessarily come inside so it's kind of a if you have if you have a nest anywhere it's probably a win-win situation however the purpose for me telling you about this wasp nest is that it's become kind of a, a, a lesson to me to watch and learn about nests it's not the first time I've had a nest I had one in side the house a couple of years ago and that's when I learned a little more about them. The workers actually die off every year which seems kind of sad. They do all that work to feed the queen and get her all ready for winter and then they make the ultimate sacrifice. And in a way it's it's kind of besides being kind of a sad fact of nature even though everybody hates wasps including me. It's an interesting all-in perspective when you really have a passion for something. If you really want to go after something, if you really have a dream and a goal that you are after, are you all in, all into the, to the, beyond any other um, aspects that you you literally not necessarily have to die for it but you you forsake just about everything else to put yourself into that project because you believe in it so strongly maybe that's the lesson you take from from the wasps anyway it's just food for thought